Hello everyone, I'm Port Scientist 7 and welcome to a Polycore Media video. This is a quick little, I guess, personal guide, I should say, to my method of gaining 10 to 20 levels of XP for the season pass. So, I developed this method um, during season 8. Now, it is similar to what other people do, and probably a lot of other people actually do this. Now, this is the way I personally like to do it. It's easy, you can spread it out throughout the week, especially if you have work and stuff and you just don't have as much time as you want to play. And you don't want to end up spending like you know, an afternoon sometime on the weekend when you could be doing something else to grinding out those levels. So, let's get right into it. First of all, you need to get your bounties. You need to get at least eight bounties per tower vendor. So, so. Once you go around to each vendor, you will look and see that they will have, like here at Banshee, he has two weekly, four daily, and then these purchasable bounties. And you want at least two of these. That would be a total of eight. That's all you need. Eight from each vendor. Once you do that, you decide what you're going to do first. Personally, I like to do Vanguard's. Once you decide what you want to do first, you go and you do, just go start the activity. So I went into the van, uh, Vanguard, got all my bounties done for the Vanguard, then the three strikes. And then once I've done that, I decide what I need to do next. Well, I could do, you know, continue on, go to the next thing or the next thing or the next thing. Or you could just stop. Say, so, alright, I got my bo uh, bounties for the Vanguard done today. Only took me about an hour, maybe hour and a half. Then, okay, you're done. You can do um, be done for that day. You can choose what you want to do the next day. Now, you can move on and go to Gambit or Crucible. Just do the bounties you can get done in the time frame that you want to play. But, here's one thing to take. Do not turn in any bounties at all. The reason for this is that each week you get a reset, a double XP boost that lasts for five whole levels. So, you want to play your activities as much as possible, or not really as much as possible, as in you want to play, get your bounties done, and you'll get the challenges done for playing those activities. Those will go, since those will be doubled, because of the two times XP, that's why you don't want to turn in your bounties. Once you get those five levels, and if you haven't finished your bounties, then you can keep playing until you have all your bounties done. Now you can gain anywhere from five to at least seven to eight levels in total while getting your bounties done. Once you have them done, then you want to head back to the tower. Once you're here, back here in the tower, you want to end up going into your bounty list, and as you can see right here, I have all my Gambit, Gunsmith, which some are missing because I had I turned a couple in already. My Crucible and the majority of my Vanguard. Now, when you turn these in, you will end up having um, a challenge done for each vendor. I of course had some extra bounties from the day before, before the reset. So I turned those in after I finished all my other bounties, and now. I get that nice XP right there. I'm almost actually done with my um, one of my levels afterwards. I only went for the minimum of five, so I can actually show you the method I use. So, got I exhausted my um, double XP already, and I turned in some bounties. Got my challenge done. Well, you turn in all your bounties, you should at least get another anywhere from two to four levels it all depends if you'd actually decide or not to turn them in before or after your double xp boost wears off and also it depends on what your seasonal boost is and what level you're currently at in your season pass now as you can tell it is the holidays the dawning is currently going on eva levante is offering bounties weekly daily and the repurchable bounties 
with double XP. Now, this is a really good default, I honestly think, because, you know, just go into any PvE activity, PvP is fine as well, farm out the ingredients and just buy those purchasable bounty, repurchasable bounties and turn them in every single day. You can do that as much as you want. They give, a, you know, more than the normal personal bounties from each vendor. I actually found them the, um, a bit better to turn in than the ones you get from the normal vendors. But, you know, if you are the kind of person who likes to really grind out that XP, so let's say you get a max of 12 levels from the method I just said. You know, you, you did all your weekly bounties daily and then the two purchasables, did all your vendor, um, vendor stuff, excuse me. So you turn, you know, went to each vendor, turned in everything, got their challenge bonus XP. Um, all right, that's good. Oh, has to be about 12 levels on average. Could be sometimes 14, depending on how long you played to get the bounties done. All right, now you want that extra XP. You want to see if you want to get 20 levels in one week. Well, remember, you still also have the weekly challenge stuff on the moon, as well as the moon bounties to complete. But now you got this other option while the dawning event is going on that have bounties that give you double XP. So, what you want to do is grab all the repurchasable ones you can each day. To me, those are very easy since they, so far, only have required me to bake a treat and then deliver them. Pretty simple, especially if you have all the ingredients, um, even an abundance of them. And you can farm them out just playing Vanguard Strikes or just going to a, one of the destinations just killing certain enemies for those ingredients. Once you have that, you can just keep farming that over and over and over. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, this is kind of my first time doing a little explanation on how something I like to do for XP grinding. And I hope this helps some of you out if you want to just play casually, spread your time out. All right. Well, everyone, have a nice day, and have a great holiday. 